Robert, the other day I was visiting a customer. He wanted to further increase the energy efficiency of his machines. It appeared that he'd done already everything. Frequency controlled drives and all his motors compliant with the highest possible efficiency class. But that wasn't enough for him. He wanted to improve his competitive edge and save even more energy. What can we offer him? Yes, Christian. You say he's already running all his motors with VFDs, matching the power to the required load. So compared to mains operation, he's already done a lot. But energy efficiency at Siemens doesn't just involve hardware. The Dynamics Drive software also offers some pretty effective methods, for example, the Eco mode. This is perfectly suited to asynchronous motors in VF control, which are operated at constant speed and torque in partial load and can be set up with linear and quadratic VF characteristics. You can see that in this diagram, the plot shows the normal voltage curve at the corresponding speed. When the set point is reached and remains unchanged for five seconds, the converter automatically reduces its output voltage to optimize the motor's operating point. The area under the graph corresponds to the amount of energy required. As we can see in our example, up to 40% can be saved. For motors that are operated with vector control and have low dynamic requirements, the flux can be optimized using the efficiency optimization function. This function provides both basic and extended efficiency optimization. Basic efficiency optimization decreases the flux set point linearly as a function of the torque and as shown in this diagram. Without efficiency optimization, the flux set point would be constant over the entire torque range. By simply changing the parameters, the flux can be lowered to 50% when idling and then increases linearly again with the torque. Even greater efficiency can be achieved with the extended efficiency optimization option. Good thermal imaging of the motor is needed for this. This method determines the operating point of the motor as a function of efficiency and flux and adjusts the flux accordingly to optimize efficiency. As I mentioned before, efficiency optimization is mainly used for constant operating conditions, for example, conveyor belts, fans or pumps. Well, the customer is actually using pumps in his plant, even with cascade control. Cascading is a great function that's included in Zenemics converters. It can be used to connect up to three fixed speed drives to cover a wide performance range. But there's something that's even better. Do you know the multi-pump function? Yes, unlike cascading, this multi-pump control function does not assign the converter to a pump motor in a fixed way. The converter is flexibly assigned to the motors via a contactor control. Once a motor has reached maximum speed, it is switched to mains operation and the converter is switched to the next motor. This distributes the operating hours of the individual pumps evenly. A smaller converter can be used for the overall drive train. This reduces losses and avoids the need for motor starters for the other pumps. The scope of this function and the available methods to activate pumps differ from standard to high performance converters. Is it possible to save energy in applications with pumps that switch on and off frequently even though their flow rate is quite low? Yes, for this we have the hibernation mode, which acts as a kind of set point filter. If, for example, the speed set point is below a certain threshold, the function becomes active and switches off the converter. This avoids frequent starting and stopping, especially important with pumps. If the restart speed is exceeded, the converter wakes up in a fraction of a second. Hibernation mode can also be time-limited, which prevents the pumps from jamming. Besides pumps, this function can of course, also be used in other applications. And how can I check that the measures I've taken have been successful? That's easy. My drives are connected to MindSphere. 
Here on my iPad, I have access to the drive data through Analyze My Drives Cloud. Using dashboards, I can group drives and get a quick overview of the drive status. Using the utilization chart, I can monitor the workload of the machine. I can also find out whether the drive system is dimensioned correctly or whether a smaller drive or motor could be used. With the Industrial Edge platform, I even have the option of capturing high frequency data up to 8 kHz and evaluating it using artificial intelligence. This means an even greater potential for energy savings. In the future, the Industrial Edge application Analyze My Drives will also be able to calculate carbon footprint and carbon savings. This transparency in the energy data reveals whether and where there's potential for savings. So thanks to the Dynamics Drive software, your drivetrain can be operated even more efficiently. To sum up, here's a brief overview of the Dynamics Drive software functions to make your plant and production more energy efficient. Eco mode, efficiency optimization in basic and advanced, cascade, multi-pump function, hibernation mode, mind sphere and analyze my drives. Today we have focused on simple applications such as fans and pumps. For applications with dynamic load cycles, we have even more exciting functions in our Synamics Drive software to save energy. But we will be showing you that in another video.